Hello, welcome to Evanson Academy. Uh, we are discussing motion in one dimension and this is lecture number 7. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 6 before watching this part 7. In this lecture, we are going to discuss uh, about the application of equations of motion for we have learned in the previous lecture. So, some uh, numerical problems we will discuss are uh, uh, related to the equations of motion. Problem is uh, a ball is thrown ball is thrown vertically upward vertically upward with a speed of 20 with velocity of with velocity of velocity of 20 meter per second and from the top of a multi-story building from the top of from the top of a multi-story building multi-story building from the top of multi-story building The height of the point, the height of the point from here the ball is thrown, from here the ball is thrown, the ball is thrown. The ball is thrown is 25 meter 25 meter from the ground from the ground right now the question is how high the ball will rise high the ball will rise ball will rise and b is b part is how long will it take? How long it will take? It will take before hit the ground. Hit the ground. Right. So there are two questions in this talk. This problem and uh, here. First of all, we will see uh, what is given to us. Ball is thrown from certain height above 25 meter. The initial velocity of ball is given that is u that is 20 meter per second, right? And initial height is given. Initial height is given that is h naught is 25 meter, right? And uh, we have to find that how high the ball will rise, right? That is h above this. Uh, since ball is throwing vertically upward, so of course g is taken as minus 10 meter per second square. Although it is 9 pointed, but for sake of convenience, we have, can take it uh, 10. Now think about the problem. What is the problem? A problem says that there is some building. Is a building of height 25 meter this is a building say the height of the building is 25 meter and uh, ball is thrown from here only this is the point uh, ball is thrown from here only and this goes to some height also say up to this ball is thrown from this height and ball reaches to this point and again the ball return from this point to the ground right now so there are two motions one is vertically upward motion another is vertically downward motion right in both the cases the uniform acceleration acting on the body is 10 meter per second square so we can consider this is the point that is 25 meter above the ground so we can think like this is 25 meter 
this distance is 20 pi meter this distance is 20 pi meter you know so that is 20 pi meter this is building and point of launch is here only so this distance is 20 pi meter this is the height of building now let h is the height which uh, ball gain and here the final velocity will be zero so let us name them this is a point a this one is point b and this one is point c so there are two time time taken first one is how high the ball will rise set so this is h h is the height let h be the height above the building above the building building where velocity of ball is 0 so here uh, v is 0 u is already 20 meter per second v u h is given h you have to calculate and a is given that is minus 10 meter per second square so which formula equations of motion can be used v is equal to u plus a t t is not knowing so how can you do that right now but uh, v is s is equal to u t plus half a t square again there is a t is required so we can't use this so we can use here uh, v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s s x h all are same so here v square is equal to u square plus 2 g and h distance is replaced by h and expression is replaced by g but because it is moving vertically forward so g will be taken as minus 10 g will be taken here minus 10 so what will happen in that case it will be 0 is equal to 20 a square minus 2 into 10 into h right now so that will come up here that 2 into 10 20 h is equal to 400 and therefore h is equal to 20 meter so this distance h is 20 meter ball will cover 20 meter distance and the time taken to cover it how long h is there v is equal to u plus 80 we can use v is equal to u plus 80 for second part of the question we can use v is equal to b part you know for b part b part this is the time so after 20 meter high gaining um, ball will gain how high the ball will uh, rise that is 20 meter this is the answer and now for next question v is equal to 0 and u is 20 a is minus g that is 10 right and uh, t is there so 20 is equal to 10 t and therefore t is equal to 2 second ball will take time from a to b 2 seconds so time taken by ball therefore time taken by ball to reach from a to b is 2 second that is time taken now time taken from b to c the distance is the height from b to c height from b to c is height from b to c is so height from b to c bc is equal to this is a 20 meter plus 25 meter that is 45 meter right now height is 45 meter okay so height is 45 meter and ball has to cover this distance so 45 meter here g will be taken negative but here initial velocity so is 0 because ball is starting from rest no so here h is equal to ut plus half a t g t square you can take it like this and then in that case 45 is equal to u is 0 into t plus half into g is 10 and t square so that is 5 
you know so 5 we cancel this how much time 45 is equal to 5 t square and therefore t square is equal to 9 it means t is equal to 3 second therefore t is equal to 3 second therefore t is equal to 3 second t is equal to 3 right so t is equal to 3 second so total time taken from a to c therefore the total time taken to reach the ground reach the ground is time taken from a to a to time taken from a to b and b to c so 2 plus 3 that is 5 second right this is the answer of this question but um, there is an alternate method in which you can deal with single stake only so there is alternating alternative method to solve part 2 of the question alternative method to solve part 2 of the question you can take this height as a negative here um, h is equal to ut plus half at square since the ball is arrived to this point so height final height is 0 or it can be taken as final height for the ball is covered is g or it can be say that uh, minus of 25 because the direction of motion is this and displacement is in opposite direction so it can be taken as minus 25 here h can be taken as minus 25 and since h is equal to since h is equal to ut plus half a t square h is ut plus half a t square since h is equal to ut plus half g t square so we can use this minus 25 as minus 25 u is 20 t you do not know and this is g is minus 10 because direction of motion is upward and t square so in that case what will happen minus 25 is equal to 20 t and this cancel by 5 minus 5 t square which will come as quadratic equation that means 5 t square minus 20 t minus 25 is equal to 0 if we cancel this by 5 this will be t square minus 4 t minus 5 is equal to 0 and further this can be written as t square minus 5t plus t minus 5 is equal to 0. You can uh, break up them and now you will get it t minus 5 and t plus 1 is equal to 0. So in that case t cannot be minus 1 right now therefore t is equal to 5 second and this method you can solve huge and you can solve any questions related to uh, when a body is thrown from certain height take the height initial height as negative I hope you got this point and directly you can take the total time taken which 5 seconds so this is a concept uh, you can use it now let us discuss some other question so before uh, moving to another question uh, I would like to give some concept related to uh, when body is falling under gravity write some uh, more more modification in the equations of motion so the different form different form of equation of motion equation of motion under given condition given conditions condition right under given condition first when body starts from rest starts from rest right equation of motion will be then u is equal to 0 and then v is equal to u plus a t is just like v is equal to a t s is equal to u t plus half a t square x is equal to u t plus half a t square 
that is nothing else but x is equal to half a t square and v a square is equal to u a square plus 2 a x and that will be nothing else but v is equal to under root 2 a x. So these are the three things. Now the next thing is when body when body is freely falling under gravity freely falling under gravity under gravity in that case also u is equal to 0 and then v is equal to u plus gt right huh? we will turn up as a is replaced by g so v is equal to gt h is equal to ut plus half gt square that will be h is equal to half gt square and v square is equal to u square plus 2gh is will turn up as v is equal to under root 2gh so remember these points i hope you got it now when a uh, body is thrown vertically upward when body is thrown vertically upward vertically upward upward then what will happen g is negative so in that case v is equal to u minus gt h is equal to ut minus half gt square and the third one is v square is equal to u square minus 2gh at final point v is 0 so we can use it v is 0 so t is equal to u by g when v is equal to 0 at vertex fourth case at vertex when v is equal to 0 that is final velocity is 0 final velocity is 0 and body is thrown vertically upward body is thrown with velocity velocity v with velocity with velocity v vertically upward vertically upward upward right so velocity u say then in that case v is equal to u minus gt this employee t is equal to v0 u by g this is called time to reach at maximum height time to reach maximum height time to reach maximum height I remember this and total of time time of flight total time of flight time of ascending is equal to time of descending remember this since time of ascending time of ascending remember this time of ascending is equal to time of descending and therefore total time of flight that is t right now so total time of flight therefore total time of flight time of flight capital t is equal to t plus t that is 2t remember this that is 2u by g time of flight is 2u by g remember this 2u by g time of flight t is equal to 2u by g right okay now the next thing is this is the total time of flight when um, it's the second equation of motion which will come up as since v is equal to 0 the, what will happen v is equal to 0 and h is equal to u t minus half g t square right now 
so there is no change in this formula because here v is no here but there is v square is equal to u square plus minus 2gh right now u square minus 2g karna paaj u square is equal to 2gh and therefore h is u square upon 2g this formula will give the height which ball or end body attain this formula is the height you can use it directly the height which body can attain right now the height that body can attain the height which a body can attain maximum height attain right now. so this is called maximum height and therefore maximum height is h is equal to maximum height h is equal to what u square upon 2g h is equal to u square upon 2g remember this this is also very important point so you can uh, utilize like this when your body is thrown vertically upward then g will be taken negative and when it is Uh, falling down, then G will be taken as positive. I hope you got it. Now there is a concept, uh, another concept which I would like to discuss before moving ahead. The distance travel in an nth second. The topic is the distance travel in travel in nth second when a body is moving with constant acceleration constant acceleration right so distance traveled in an nth second we know the distance travel we know the total distance travel in total distance travel in n second is given by given by x n say total distance travel x n is equal to u t in place of t there is n so we can write u n u n plus half a n square isn't it and this is similarly similarly the distance total distance traveled distance traveled in n minus 1 second is given by is given by x n minus 1 That is u n minus one plus half a n minus one whole square. This is second. So the total distance traveled in n second is given by. Therefore, the total distance traveled in n second. Distance traveled in n second. Travel in n second. Is given by total distance travel in n second minus total distance travel in n minus one second. If you subtract these two, then you will have here say u n plus half a n square minus here u n minus u plus half a n square minus 2n plus 1 so if i'll uh, subtract it un and un will be cancelled so you know this un and this un will be cancelled so half n square and there will be also half n square that will be cancelled so because of this negative sign 
due to this negative sign this negative sign will be positive sign and that will be u isn't it and this is minus 2n due to this negative sign it will be positive and this one will be negative so 2n minus 1 if minus i will take common this minus minus will be plus plus the 2n minus 1 into what this is a by 2 a by 2 so this is what the distance traveled in n at second i hope you got it and you must remember this formula so that you will be able to solve further three questions okay now uh, let us discuss one question question and question is here a boy is standing on a stationary address a stationary lift lift open from top right throw a ball throw a ball vertically upward vertically upward right with the maximum speed of maximum speed of 49 meter per second now question is how long how long ball will take to return in his hand each hand and the second one if lift is is in uniform motion from motion in upward direction in upward direction then how long it will take to return return in his hand in his hand right in his hand so we will discuss this question here the initial speed is given final speed is zero solution let me write here solution here initial speed is 49 meter per second final speed is zero g is from the minus 9.8 meter per second square and time of flight is therefore time of flight time of flight what we have discussed is t is equal to 2u by g that is 2 into 49 upon g is 9.8 so this will be what 5 and 5 to job 10 second easily one can answer as we have learned in the previous one that g is 9.8 it would be negative and that is why in that case t is total time of flight which already we have discussed and we can use it so time is 10 second in case when ball lift is moving in uniform motion so that will be the answer of question number a first when lift is is in uniform motion uniform motion then acceleration of the body will not change change and hence the time of flight time of flight will not change will not change as initial speed is same as initial speed is same same so it will be again t equal to 10 second in that case also i hope you got it isn't it so is the case kuch questions kar sakte hain aur ye questions aap bade aasani se kar sakte hain और होपफुली आप इस तरह के क्वेश्चन करेंगे तो आपको बहुत सारे एक्सपीरियंस होंगे कुछ और क्वेश्चंस हम लोग अगली क्लास में डिस्कस करेंगे ब्रेक के बाद ब्रेक के बाद हम डिस्कस करेंगे कुछ और क्वेश्चंस एंड टिल देन बाय बाय गॉड ब्लेस 
keep watching on this video and share to your friends as well thank you